All right, today's video is all about deep carry, aftermarket pocket clips, and the knives they fit, like this CRKT, which is wearing a Benchmade clip. How about, how about a Kaiser Gemini? That one's for zero tolerance knives, believe it or not. And you wanna know the best part? Get this, they're not modified. I buy all my aftermarket pocket clips from MXG Gear, so I will be sure to go ahead and include uh, links below. I gotta tell you, these, these are some quality titanium clips, and you even get free US shipping for orders over $45, which is about the cost of uh, two clips. I'm always looking for new retailers, so I'd love to know, like, where do you get your clips from? All right, I got a confession to make. When I first started, collecting knives, I obsessed over deep carry clips. I mean, every single knife I owned, it, it had to have one. It was to the point where I was spending a lot of time modifying these clips just to fit one knife. This is a perfect example of what not to do. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of those holes. I clearly removed way too much material. Modding one of these should be a last resort, especially if it's cost $23. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay. Go ahead and consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews to get right to the point. Let's start out with one that I use a lot because it's a very common hole configuration that you see on a lot of brands like Kershaw, ZT, CJRB, and even Ganso Firebird. So it's listed on MXG's website as a clip that was designed for, well, this guy, the ZT0450. This is a really small sample size, but here's a few more that I found compatible. The newer, this is the new one, uh, Cancep Cryo. And then you already saw the Kershaw Link. The Dividend will also fit that clip. Uh, how about the Wii Streak or even the Practic? The ZT0456, even, you know, a little budget knife like this uh, QSP Parrot, which I know if you put that clip on here, I mean, it would end up being more expensive than the knife itself. One of the many things that I love about MXG gear is the fact that they include a ton of extra titanium screws. I think you get like about six per clip. That's a lot of extras. Oh, I got to show you this. Sound off in the comments if, if any of you are like me. Yeah. Do you save like pocket clip screws like this, like for extras to use on another knife? This is that clip that I showed you uh, earlier. It's like quickly becoming my go-to aftermarket uh, deep carry clip. And it's made for, you know, that uh, RJ Martin designed ZT0609. Here's a few that, uh, that that clip will work on. And like, well, this is the mini steel wheel cut jack, the one in D2. Never been a fan of this, of this pocket clip. So I'm super happy that I found this one. I mean, look at, I think it looks great on there, but it also is gonna fit knives like this uh, CH3001 the Hogue EX03, oh, the Kershaw Launch 1, and even the Pilar. I almost forgot to show you one of my favorites. Here's a little before and after with the uh, Kaiser Gemini. I mean, even though the stock titanium clip, it's, it is really nice. It just rides a little, just too shallow for my liking. Man, that looks great. You're going to want to stick around because in a minute, I'm going to show you a really quick way to figure out if any of these aftermarket clips, if they might fit some of your knives. I fully realize that you're probably not going to be as excited as I am about this next clip that I'm going to show you. It's the one that's made for Benchmade knives, which I think it fits this CRKT M16 really well because the stock clip that you get when you're carrying this tip up is very shallow. And hopefully you can see this, but you see you're only going to be able to use like two of 
two of the three screws to hold the pocket clips. So you can see, because the middle one does not line up that well, but that's a bonus because got to add it to my little stash. That's how I've, <laughs> that's why I have so many of these darn things. I'm very proud of this last discovery here. You can see it's a clip that is made for Spyderco knives because I got it here on the pair of three. It works so well with all of my favorite cold steel knives. You see the Ultimate Hunter, Code 4, American Lawman, Recon 1, even my uh, mini Recon 1. Oh, and this one that I did not expect. You know this knife, CH3504. Yeah, it totally fits. I mean, it's a little, it's sticking out a little bit past the pummel, a little farther than I normally like. But I, I like how this rides in the pocket now, way more than the stock clip. My main gripe about this though is that, so you can see is the clip, it's a little bit, it's, it's a shorter one. So you can tell that it, it lands almost like right in that little lock bar cutout, but it just misses it by a hair. It still works fine though, and I'll show you, because it doesn't like, it doesn't snag, it doesn't snag my pocket when I get it, you know, putting it in and out, but they do make, they make like a, a longer version of this clip, which, you know, you might want to consider getting that one if, if this is going to bug you. Now, the method that I use to, to figure out if a clip is going to fit, you know, potentially fit one of my knives is if you have calipers, if not, no big deal. Hey, ruler works too. All we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, measure the screw holes on the back of the clip. So here's what I mean. I'll show you as long as my right hand cooperates because, you know, it doesn't always like to do that. It's got a mind of its own. Take my uh, left-handed calipers. Yeah, they do make those. And then just going to try and measure the holes. So on this particular clip, I think this is a CJRB clip, 2.78 millimeters. And, you know, just get as close as you possibly can. And then you can do the same thing with the uh, with a ruler. Instead of finding out the hard way, you know, by already receiving the clip, you find out that it doesn't fit. This way, it'll, you know, save you a little bit of headache. All right, so hey, if you enjoyed this video and you got like any value from it, would you do me a favor? Just let me know by leaving one of these and don't forget to go ahead and click on subscribe. All right, now in a second, you're gonna see two videos up on the screen. One is a video of mine that YouTube is recommending you watch next. The other is I have a much older video where I covered the same topic about deep carry pocket clips. I'm sure it's terrible, but hey, go ahead, click on the link to watch it. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next video. See ya, take care.